I can see your ghost. You can see it on this screen. Don't you want to look? Come look. It's okay. No? Okay, you don't have to look. It's not scary. It's nice. I don't want to twist your arm. There it goes. That was really something. Your ghost says hello. No, I was just kidding. That's just my way of saying hello. stairs and a six-year-old girl was up at the top and then at the height of her face she held out a deck of cards which she bent with one hand and they sprang out forward towards my eyes a flurry of motion the buzz and the snap a blizzard of suits of black and red ink jumble of numbers that tumbled and spread and lifelessly scattered all over the floor. And then we behold the sprawling disorder, the reckless mess meted out without pause. And she looked at me with a line for a mouth and her arms by her sides and her pea soup green eyes eyes that said, pick them up. When that happens, all of a sudden, it doesn't eliminate the power of the ISPs, and it becomes it still is an incredibly hard fight. But that's where the balance comes out. And people are cynical, and they're like, oh, there's nothing you can do when you have the entrenched forces. And I think that it has been the story of everyday people really pushing back against huge incumbent ISP interests and winning. And just like winning battle after battle after battle. It's not done. But there is an ability to push back against that. What did 
did you do, America? Why, they're after you, America. You got excited and you started something. Nations jumping all around. Why, look here. You got a lot to answer for. They lay the blame right at your door. It's a bibble. The world is like time crazy. From shore to shore. Waves. Common sense at sea. Giant waves should not exist. <laughs> 